something happens there. All right, Brett, Cross thank fingers. you. Yep. Of course, now to the other big developing story, as Brett was mentioning, that is widespread flooding in Carbon County. More than 100 homes have been damaged. Fox 13's Ashton Goodell joining us live from Helper with more on that. Ashton. Well, Nineveh, we are in the middle of the action here. We're actually in Spring Glen where the kids from the local church are working at Spring Glen Park. You can just see how much debris came rolling down here. Entire trees just piled up in the middle of the road. This park here used to be a sandbox. And if you walk with me across the street, you can see they're working with some heavy machinery over here. These were the homes hit hardest by the flood. Their yards used to be grass. Now they're just mud. They've had to take out a lot of things from their basements. Homeowners say it sounded like a freight train rolling through last night. So much water came through one basement. A woman was trapped and had to swim to the stairs. She said it was a frightening experience. The mud, muck and debris washed over roads in a matter of minutes. It really didn't take long for water to move through, but the mess it left behind will be a problem for weeks. We've lost a lot of it. So family heirlooms, just, we've lost a lot. Fortunately, we live in rural Utah, and we have a lot, as you can see, a lot of people come together really quickly. Um, they, they support each other, a really great spirit of community down here, out helping neighbors, helping neighbors, and trying to do the best they could. You know, they said they don't call a helper for no reason, but many homeowners say that they called their insurance today, and they found out they don't have flood insurance, so they're in a lot of trouble down here. Emergency officials are trying to get um, service from FEMA. They're working with the state and federal government to do that. But you can see there's so much work to be done, so much heavy machinery out here, and they expect to be here for a long time. And everybody's watching the sky, Nineveh, tonight, hoping that the same kind of water doesn't come back through here. Back to you in studio. Ashton, it was so heartbreaking hearing that homeowner talk about how he lost family heirlooms and so much more. Um, you can see the cleanup happening behind you as, a, as you mentioned, the sunny skies, but rain could be happening tonight. Are they preparing in any way in case more rain does hit? You know, this morning the focus was all about getting these roads clear, getting the basement um, clear, you know, getting all that water out of there. But then about at noon, noon, one, two o'clock today, we started seeing crews starting the preparation efforts with sandbagging. But yes, they are preparing tonight. Yeah, they're trying. All right, Ashton, thank you. Hopefully they get some more help and helper. All right, thank you, Brett. The other big developing story we're following is in Carbon County. That's where the community is digging out from flooding and mud that damaged more than 100 homes. Fox 13's Ashton Goodell joins us live from Helper with more on that story. Ashton. Well, Hope, look in any direction and you can see extensive damage. Right now, people are trying to level their yards, clean out their basements, and get things back to normal again. Cleaning up mud, lots of mud. Um, it's been an all day project of grading and shoveling and it's just been a big day. A long day that started with a downpour. Dumped about three quarters of an inch of rain in less than probably 20, 30 minutes. Which then turned into a series of flash floods from Helper to Spring Glen. The water came on so hard and fast, nobody had any time to prepare. I mean, we're kind of notorious for flash flooding around here, so it happens, but I've never seen it back up the whole town like this. This is pretty unheard of, so. You can see on the door here how high the water got down there. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. It's just, where on earth did it all come from? The water came through here with such force, it ripped this door in half and flooded the basement. A woman trapped inside had to swim to the stairs to get out. Many homeowners called their insurance companies today only to find out they don't have flood insurance. We've lost a lot of them. So family heirlooms, just, we've lost a lot. With more than 100 homes flooded throughout Carbon County, emergency officials say they're seeking help from FEMA. But in this moment, it's not much comfort after losing everything in the flood. I feel pretty hopeless right now. So I've, 
I've never, I've never been to a point in my life that I've felt absolutely hopeless. And that's where I'm at right now, especially watching the clouds. And it just, it makes me wonder if all the efforts that I've gone through and done today, if I'm just going to be doing it again tomorrow. That's the question on everybody's minds here. You can see over here, these ladies are going through some of the things they found in their basement, seeing what they can salvage and what they'll have to throw away. And this, this mud isn't going to be easy to get rid of. Check this out. It is now turning almost into cement, and this is at least a foot thick right here. They have a lot of cleanup to do. And now tonight, they're more focused on sandbagging and preparing for that next round of storms. Hope. Well, it's hard to believe that all of this has happened just uh, in the past 24 hours that all this damage occurred. Uh, any news on, you know, how long they think it's going to take them to sort through all that stuff and get back in the house before the next round of storms? You know, everybody's saying it's going to take weeks. Some people fared much better and they were able to clean it all out today. The roads are pretty clear. Um, they were able to do that in a matter of hours, but this place isn't going to look normal for quite a while. All right, Ashton, thank you.